Hey again, Zach Klein here. We're going to talk about strongly regular graphs. Come on over. So let's start off with, with a definition here. What is a strongly regular graph? Well, a graph G is strongly regular if number one G is K regular two G has integers A and B such that every pair of adjacent vertices has A common neighbors and every pair of non-adjacent vertices has B common neighbors. So a really easy example of a strongly regular graph would be the five cycle. Right? We would denote that strongly regular, strongly regular graph on five vertices as so. So every adjacent pair of vertices has zero common neighbors. And every non-adjacent pair of vertices just realized has one. Another interesting example is the Peterson graph. I won't draw that here, but that is also strongly regular. And now let's just prove something quick, pretty useful identity that relates to strongly regular graphs. And that is for any strongly, regu strongly regular graph, denoted as follows. It has the following relationship. If you take the number of vertices minus the k regularity minus 1 times b, that second integer, it's going to be equal to k times k minus a minus 1. And this basically results from a simple counting argument. So we're going to partition G. We're going to say X0 is some arbitrary vertex VI. X1 are all the vertices adjacent to VI. And X2 are likewise the non-adjacent. Notice that the size of x1 is k, since our graph is k regular. And the size of x2 is the complement, v minus k plus 1, the remaining vertices of g. Now we simply have to count the number of edges between x1 and x2. So every vertex in x1 has a common neighbors with vi that are also in x1. Thus, since g is k regular, there are k minus a minus 1 edges running between any vertex in x1 and vertices of x2. And since there are k vertices in x1, we see that 
this is in fact the number of edges running between x1 and x2. Now we count the edges starting from x2. All the vertices in x2 share b neighbors with vi. These neighbors must be in x1 since they are adjacent to vi. Thus, since we have v minus k minus 1 vertices in x2, we see the number of edges running between x1 and x2 is that number times b. And that's the proof. So strongly regular graphs pop up in lots of places, and they have several other useful identities that go along with them as well. Thank you. The strongly regular graphs presentation was based on a lecture of retired professor Dr. David Joyner from the United States Naval Academy.